that I'm kind of a dweeb. I'm 26 and I've never been kissed, never been on a date, and never had a girlfriend. If I have my first kiss on national television, everyone that I know jaw would just drop. Now I have two ways to regenerate, so I can attack and block all I want and still regenerate. I'm a huge gamer. I like anything with elves in it, anything with dragons, just the fantasy of it all it takes me to a whole, it like distracts you from life. I'm gonna win big brother, mostly because I'm very, very strategic and I'm kind of thinking two to three steps ahead of everybody else. Is that it? You done? That's cute. And I'm not just playing the game as much as I'm trying to play them. But what I think people are not gonna get about me is I'm actually really, really athletic and I won most athletic in high school. Oh, yes! I can't believe I just missed that! To be honest, if it's anything that's a game, I'm game. I'm Haley. I am a student at Texas A&M University. Whoop! Giga mags. I guess you could say I'm a country girl. A lot of people may look at me and think that I may not have to get my hands dirty, but growing up I definitely did. I had to ride the tractor. I had to clean the stalls. I had to do all of the things you probably wouldn't want to do. And I think that definitely helped shape me into the person that I am today. Too big for just because I grew up in a small town, don't count me as a country bumpkin. I'm definitely more sophisticated than that. Mm. I'm working on my bachelor's of science in psychological and brain studies. I'm very family oriented, but I like to go out and have a good time too. Ah. I'm gonna use my southern charm to get ahead in the house. I'm gonna smile, I'm gonna laugh at every joke anyone tells and no one will even see me sneaking up behind and stealing a half a million dollars, so watch out. My name's Fessel, and I'm a substitute teacher and a football coach. Head up. Good catch, good catch. I'm a former two-time D1 All-American. I played at University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. We won two conference championships, and I shattered every single receiving record there. When I walk in a classroom, the reaction is a lot different than most teachers get. You all of a sudden see students tilt their phone up like this, saying, oh my gosh, would you look at him? But there's more to me than just a big muscle guy with a big personality. Me and my family are a tight-knit group. We're really close, and we're proud Muslims. Amazing. I'm not afraid to make power moves at all. I just got to play my cards right, do it at the right time, so I can come out top with $500,000. It's a happy fan. Just pick some butter, right? We're going to bring back that 500k to Texas, baby. Woo! Hello, house guests. Who's ready for the 20th season of Big Brother? Well, as you can see, there are only eight of you out here. That's because moments ago, eight other house guests moved in. Now, you will join them. The first four house guests to enter are Haley, Scotty, Fessel, and Casey. Head on in. Angela. Angela Fessy. Fessy? Yes. Dude, this house is badass. This is so dope. Oh my god. I didn't officially actually meet you yet. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm Scotty. I'm Haley. Nice I heard you. you. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So I meet this girl for the first time, give her a hug, and then bam. Wardrobe malfunction. What a goober. So these are the only rooms we There's like six beds and that's it. Wait, it's just these two rooms then, right? Yeah. I'm suspicious. And I notice there's only two rooms with beds. And I have a feeling there's a third room because I know the layout of the house. But I really don't want to be perceived as the super fan guy, so I kind of just play dumb. There's gotta be something else here. There's only like six beds. Yeah, there's not there's not as many beds as people. Ah! Ah! Oh man, Swaggy, Swaggy. Here we go, get out. Yes. Ah! I'm the Big Brother house! Oh! 
As a Vegas performer, I'm used to a pre-show adrenaline rush. Right now, I'm nervous, but I'm stage ready, so I'm going to be keeping my cool. Hi, JC. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Sorry, what's your name? JC. JC, Brett. Brett. JC's like this little boss. What's your name? Brett. I'm Angie. So nice to meet you. You're everything. Oh, God. You are I'm a meditation instructor. I have my I really like Caitlyn. We'll get our aromatherapy on and <laughs> wonderful. I was so excited. Yes. I pop bottles for a living. My name is Swaggy C. I got this shirt here. Um, I'm 23 years old from Bridgeport, Connecticut, and I played college basketball. Hi. Um, hi, my name is JC. And wait, uh, I'm kind of short. Yeah. And then I'm part of the LGBT community. Yeah. JC is just, he's cuter than a bug's ear. He is absolutely cute as a button. And he already made it known that he's part of the LGBT community, so I guess I'm just gonna have to sit this one out. But he's mighty stinking cute. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Y'all. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I'm Winston. I'm from Somerset, Kentucky. I'm in medical device sales. How old? How old? Uh, I'm 28. Winston has that southern charm and those country vibes. He's definitely someone I would be attracted to outside of the house. So Winston is definitely someone I want to get to know a little bit better. Hey guys, I'm Brett. I'm 25 years old. I live in Boston, but I'm from Connecticut. Oh, nice. Just down the way. Uh, and I'm, I'm in technical sales. Nice. I don't ever want to know that I'm a cybersecurity engineer and give away my intelligence. So I just say that I'm in technical sales and thank God no one's asked me what that is yet because I don't really know. <laughs> My name is Sam and I'm 27 and I'm a full-time welder. And I'm from Virginia, from the mountains. This is mountain speak. <laughs> I know I have an accent, but I think Sam really has an accent. When Sam's talking, I have no idea what she's saying. Hello, big brother, I need subtitulos. My name is Haley. I live in the great state of Texas, Woo! and awesome. I am currently a full-time student at Texas A&M. Right. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm a Baylor. Haley is gorgeous. She's a good-looking girl. I'm hoping maybe I'm her type. She just has that innocent look, something I am attracted to. How you guys doing? All right. Hey. 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 My name's Steve. I'm from Jersey. I'm 40 years old, three beautiful daughters. Married to the same woman for 17 plus years. Yeah. Talk about. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm a mechanic in a family owned garage. Nice. This Steve guy is freaking me out. He's giving me the bullet eyes like he's gonna give me a shakedown in the back alley. I don't know why he has to stare so intensely, but it, it pierces me right in the soul every single time. Cool, cool. My name is Casey. I'm from San Diego. Um, I'm 30 years young, and I play women's tackle football for San Diego Surge. Oh. All right, I'm Fessy, 26, from Orlando, Florida, and I'm a substitute teacher. Yes. Fessy is super, super cute. He's the tall, he's the dark, he's the handsome. I feel like he could just protect me and wrap his arms around me. I would be that guy's teacher's pet any day. I am Caitlin, I'm 24, and I am from Long Island, New York. I'm a certified life coach and guided meditation instructor. I will completely put together your chakras. What the heck is a chakra? Chakras. That sounds sexual and violent, and I want no part of it right now. <laughs> My name is Angela. And I'm a fitness model. I'm from Hilton Head, South Carolina. And I'm so excited to get to know each and every one of you and have an amazing summer. Yay! Yay. Yay. I'm Scotty. I'm also 26. Uh, I'm a retail shipping manager, and I'm from Chicago. Hi, Chi-Town. 
Scotty, your energy is my favorite. Uh, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. I, it's, it's, you're gonna get tired of it. There's femme fatales absolutely everywhere, and as someone who worked at a movie theater for like five years, I know to always avoid the femme fatales, because the femme fatales get you killed, or in this case, evicted. My name is Angie Rockstar. I am a stay-at-home mom of three and also a festival coordinator. Nice. If I was still a current detective, festival coordinator, narcotics, sounds like a place that I might start an investigation. But it's almost my age, three kids, so maybe she's somebody that I have to work as possible ally or an alliance. My name is Rachel, and I live in Las Vegas. I'm 29, and I'm I'm a performer. So. Oh, nice. Awesome. You look good. Oh, thanks, girl. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm still feeling everyone's auras out, and I mean, we have Rockstar, who's very purple. We have Scotty, who definitely has like a strong blue color, but I don't know about Rachel. She has a red aura, and everyone knows that red auras typically create the most friction. My name's Tyler, I'm 23, I'm from Ohio. Uh, I live in South Carolina, Hilton Head, and I'm a beach lifeguard. Um, I'm Bailey, I'm 25, I'm a flight attendant, and what else? Oh, I'm from Missouri. Nice! Yo, how are you gonna put all these gorgeous girls in this house? I'm trying to win some money, and you're gonna just distract me like that? Haley's pretty hot. Angela's pretty hot. Bailey's really hot too. I'd give them out the mouth to any of these girls if they need it. Any single one. Cheers to all of you. Let's make this a sick summer and let's just let's make it good guys. Let's make it good. Coming into the Big Brother house is just like coming onto a flight. Everybody's nice and pleasant now, but as soon as we start hitting some turbulence and a little bit of rough air, they're gonna be reaching for their seatbelts and their oxygen masks, and let's just say there's not enough to go around. Woo! Oh my Get it. God! Get it. Wow! Welcome to the BB Supercomputer. This is sick. I need four women and four men on each platform. We're going up this <laughs> way. Julie told us, okay, we need four girls on one platform, four on the other. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to expect, so I kind of just followed more of like the athletic people, I guess. Super computer! This is competition. You guys all better fade away. Don't worry, we're gonna do great. This is the BB Super Computer. You are all about to battle for the power to reprogram the first week of the game. The winner will have the ability to keep eight house guests safe, including themselves, wow. while putting eight house guests and their game in jeopardy. I could possibly have the power to save myself and seven others for the week? That's half the house. This is a must win. I have to have the control in my hands. Okay. It's time. That's kind of scary. Is that supposed to do that? Oh my god. The supercomputer crashed. The eight of you will compete here in the cyber security zone. Now, you are all under suspicion of being a robot. Your job is to prove you are not a robot. To do that, you will search the pile of lettered blocks below you. The goal is to spell the word house guest. The first to do this will advance to the final competition later this evening, where they will face off against the winner of the other group of eight. The last person left trying to complete their puzzle will receive a punishment that will challenge his or her game like never before. Keep in mind, if your blocks fall off your platform, you must start over. Does everyone understand? Yeah. Yes. yes. This competition begins now.
Your boy Swaggy C wants to win right out the gate. I'm showing the house guests that I'm here. I'm setting the tone for Big Brother 20 that Swaggy C is here to play. Being the oldest guy in this house, I have to prove to these youngsters that I'm still competitive enough to be valuable, and I cannot take last place in this competition because I don't know what the punishment is and how it will affect my social game. I want to win this game so badly. If my Brit Lit professor is watching this and I lose on a spelling competition, I don't know if Texas A&M is going to let me come back. The main objective is spelling. I'm real good at spelling. Matter of fact, I was in the all-county spelling bee in second grade. I actually lost on the word raspberry, spelled with a Z that were wrong. So my strategy is to be as precise as possible. With this competition, it really doesn't matter how fast you kind of stack it up. If they fall at the end, sorry, you lost for being stupid. So I look over and I see that Fessel, Swaggy, and I are like really, really close to winning this. And this competition can go to any one of the three of us. That motivates me to push through, get as many blocks as possible, and hopefully pull out the W. Basically, I got the H and the O left. It's fourth quarter, Swaggy C got the ball. Two seconds left, I have to get to the next round. Congratulations, Swaggy C. Bang them in there! You will be moving on to the final competition of the night. You see who wins! Swaggy C, I'm here, I'm the greatest. I won the first competition like I said I would. Was there ever a doubt? Didn't get the win I wanted. Second place, skin in my teeth, but at least I'm not getting punished. Competition. What's going on? Who won? I did. You win? I did. Yeah. Awesome. So. so I'm in the house. Yes. Okay, well, can you not be so intense? Congrats. Uh, I appreciate it. Oh, good. Ooh. Hi, Scotty. Hey, yo. Who won you guys? Oh, where? Turns out Angela won her competition. So I guess me and her will be in this next competition for power. Game on, Miss Fitness Model. Keep searching and stacking. Remember, you don't want to be the one loser getting a punishment that will hurt your game. I thought I was gonna win, mine fall. Then it just hits me that I still have to compete. I just gotta stay poised and make sure I'm not gonna get the punishment this week. Boom! That's how you stack. I'm out. Oh my gosh! Wow. I'm disappointed I didn't win, honestly, but I'm not the last person. I don't have the punishment. It actually works out because I didn't put a big target on my back that I'm just a straight beast in this competition. No! Yes, yes, yes. I love you. I don't want to come out last on this. That would just be the worst feeling ever. So I'm praying to my spirit guides. As I'm doing this, I literally feel a presence with me, like shifting me, like making sure that I get through this. Dreams do come true, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh my god. It's down to me, Haley, and Sam. Who 
Oh, yes! <laughs> Sam just had a big drop, so I'm still in the game. And all I have to do is not finish last. I'm going for my last eight. Don't you fall, don't you fall, don't you fall. Oh, I did it! So, it is really down to the wire. I look over and it's just me and Haley. And I see that we are neck and neck. I'm like, I cannot lose the very first game. I'm freaking out, I'm entering panic mode. If I don't beat Sam, I may get a punishment that could screw up my game for the rest of the season. And it's season 20, so you know it's going to be something dramatic. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, Sam. I hate to see it happen to you, but rather you than me. like really bouncy. So we're back in the BB20 supercomputer here. We got two surfboards 10 feet in the air and my hacking senses are tingling. Looks like Angela and Swaggy are about to be hanging 10 but as we would say in cybersecurity, web browsing. Angela and Swaggy C, welcome back to the BB supercomputer. <laughs> It's now time to compete for the power to reprogram the first week of the game. The winner of this final competition will be given the power to keep eight house guests safe, including themselves, for the first week of the game. Needless to say, there's a lot on the line. This competition is called Surfing the BB Web, and the object is simple. Be the last house guest standing on your surfboard and you will win the power to reprogram the first week of the game. And be warned, anytime the BB supercomputer lands at a new web page, anything could happen. Do you both understand? Yeah. Okay, then get ready because this competition starts now. This is gonna be a battle, super athletic. Super athletic, going head on head. There we go. This is like a campaign for her. I've never actually surfed before, but I've wakeboarded and I've snowboarded and I've skimboarded, so I have a good shot at this competition. I'm nervous for them. <laughs> Moments before the competition, Angela looked me dead in my face and said, Yo, listen, if I win, I'm gonna save my group. I can't really save you. Are you serious? Oh, now I gotta cook your dumb ass in this competition. I'm swaggy, see, for a reason. I need to win this, and I want to win this. You guys are rocking it. Keep it up. Uh-oh. Back door. These tabs start opening up on the BB web, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. There's no way this is gonna be good. <laughs> myself and seven other people safe, I need to be the last one standing on this surfboard. Just watch it, watch coming it, coming back, it's coming back, it's coming back, coming behind you, move your booty. Hashtag backdoor. We're on a surfboard, a surfboard. I don't know how to swim, and you got me on a surfboard? That's the one thing Swaggy C does not know how to do in America. All these backdoors coming at them, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Are we gonna get backdoors tonight? I really hope I'm safe this week. I don't wanna hit by any backdoors. Oh my gosh, like, another web page just popped up. And then all of a sudden, chopping block almost takes my neck off. Target package. 
So I've seen my fair share of wipeouts, but I've never seen like doors, twisty things, and targets throwing these surfers off. You can literally see their legs like catching on fire. Maybe not literally, but it's tough to watch. Crazy in this competition. All these web pages keep popping up. Like I'm losing my balance. I'm about to fall. So it's like I don't know how much more I can take, but I just have to stay focused and win and take early control of this game. giving this competition every ounce of my strength and I am fighting and fighting just trying to stay on the surfboard. I have to ride this wave longer than Swaggy. I play basketball. My legs never hurt. I'm on this surfboard for 30 minutes and my right leg is twitching. I'm trying to tell my body like, you're not dropping, you're Swaggy C. She has to drop first, but my leg is still twitching. You got it, breathe babe. Time for the hug. Congratulations, Swaggy C. Bang him in the head times two. I won the first competition and then I just smoked Angela. It's getting too easy out here. You cannot beat Swaggy. Listen, you push me, you push me, you're safe. You push me. I can't even walk. Now all the power is in Swaggy's hands and I get to decide everybody's fate and it's marvelous you killed it i know that was her it sucks that i lost this competition as an athlete there's no worse feeling but swaggy c told me that i'm gonna be safe i'm just hoping that he's gonna stay true to his word if that's what i have to do to get abs i don't know swaggy and i seem to have a very genuine connection but i have no idea what swaggy's gonna do congratulations swaggy c you have won this competition and the power to reprogram the game. And here's how that will work. You moved into the house in four groups of four. You will soon choose two of the four moving groups to keep safe from the first eviction. Everyone, please head inside. Swaggy C, you have a very important decision to make. Use this time wisely. So, who? It's crazy. How you feeling? Yeah. Hmm? How are the legs feeling, man? Wild. Listen, it feels awesome that I won the competition, but now I gotta keep eight people safe. But Julie just said it has to be two out of the four moving groups. I'm obviously gonna keep myself safe. The group of me, Swaggy C, Rachel, Rockstar, and Brett, but I have to choose somebody else's group to be safe. I definitely don't want to be on the block week one. So now I have to go in there. I have to convince Swaggy C to save me and my group, Scotty, Fessy, Casey, and me. I guess it's time to turn on that Southern charm. So this is what my thought process is. Okay, so since we were all out there standing in the pad, yeah. that would get less blood on your hands to be able to yeah. say, you know, these are the people that I came in with originally. I don't think that makes you look bad. And Angie can't be mad because before the competition, she, she told me to my face she wasn't saving me right. if she won. She right. said that? I'm like, okay. To my face. So I can't just save her like just because we did a competition together. I wouldn't. Yo. And wants to know if she can talk to you. You guys good? Yeah, no, I mean, I support you whatever you do. No yeah. matter what, I'll have your back. Is Sam and Casey ever gonna come back? They missed out on all of the first day activities. I don't know, I feel better, like, bad for No, them. really bad for them. I'm like, what kind of punishment is this where you get to look that fierce? Like, <gasps> look at the shoes, I just realized. My shoes are not cute. 
Maybe I should have finished last. I am super jelly of that whole outfit. What, how long do you have to wear it? Girl, I only know as much as you guys know. Oh my God, Casey's unitard is absolutely fabulous, but where the hell is Sam? You're like the gay fairy godmother. Hey girl! It's Sam! Sam's a robot? I'm a robot. No, you have to go back here. No way. It's creepy, this thing. The only robots I like are the kind that you do in the dance. That's not her for the week. Sam turned into a robot. <laughs> That's the thing, I'm a robot. You look good. Can you see me? I can hear and see everything. Finally, someone's the same height as me in the house, and then we can look at each other in the eyes. What does this look like to y'all? Can I rub us. a mirror right here? Right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you still think I'm cute? Yeah. Is that really Sam? Yeah, it is. That's really her. That's really her voice. She goes, I'm a robot. Hey, are you okay, Sam? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm a robot, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just simple. Take, like, your time, enjoy yourself, be a robot, and then you're just going to be back in the house. And robot, look. Damn it. As a robot, I might as well be a pinball in this house. I'm just bouncing off of every wall, every chair. So I hope y'all built this thing sturdy because I'm gonna be hard on it. House guests, I need everyone in the living room now. I'm getting married. Dun, 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 dun. Do you see the eyes? What's up, man? What? Jeez. Where's Steve? He's right here. Oh. Hey, what's up, Steve? What's up? Well, I'm a <laughs> robot. <laughs> yes! yes. Oh. Casey, please join Sam in the front of the living room. Oh. As you can all see, Casey and Sam have received two very different punishments. Casey, you have received the Pinwheel of Doom punishment. Not only do you have to wear the pinwheel unitard until the first live eviction, but when your pinwheel begins to spin, you must stay in the room you are in at that time until it stops. A punishment that could greatly affect your social game. No! Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Sam, you are officially a robot. <laughs> I see that. Your punishment will also be in effect until the first live eviction. Oh. Plus, whenever you hear the words robot offline, you must go to the diary room and you will return to the game as a human. But when you hear the words robot online, you will return to the house as a robot. So it's like I have multiple personalities. <laughs> Swaggy C, as the winner of the first competition of the summer, you will soon choose which group of house guests you'd like to keep safe from eviction and which group will be in jeopardy. I'll be back for your decision shortly. Gotcha. Dun, dun, dun. I can't believe I'm stuck with the spinning wheel of doom to the first eviction. I don't want to be left out on any of these conversations. No, this is not legit. Look out, Steve, you want to fight? <laughs> My only game plan was to come in here and be myself. And somehow I lost that strategy. Now I'm just this screen. So now I can only hope that Swaggy C chooses to keep my group safe because I don't want to have to fight for my life when I don't even have a life, I have a battery. So which eight house guests will be safe this week and which eight will be in danger of going home? Find out next. Plus, you'll learn how you can play a big part in Swaggy C's decision. When you get to the living room, Hi, Sammy. please sit in your moving groups. I really have to think about my long-term game when it comes to this decision, because it's like, which people do I want to have as friends this summer, and who can I afford as enemies? This decision could be really pricey for Swaggy C. 500K to be exact. 
Okay, Swaggy C, you now have a very important decision to make. You must choose which eight house guests you want to keep safe. And remember, you will do this by choosing two of the four moving groups. Group number one was Sam, Winston, Bailey, and Tyler. After talking to Swaggy C, I don't feel 100% safe. He didn't really give me any real assurances, but hopefully like our quick bond that we had was enough for him to want to keep me around. Group two was Steve, JC, Angela, and Caitlin. I think Swaggy's picking Angela. Swaggy's an athlete. Athletes respect athletes. He knows what kind of effort she put out there. He's picking her. Group three was Scotty, Haley, Casey, and Fessel. Me and Swaggy are boys. That's my man, 100 grand. Plus, we were both part of the second group of eight to move into the house. So hopefully he keeps me safe this week. And group four was Rockstar, Brett, Rachel, and of course, you, Swaggy C. Now, it's time to let each group know their fate. So Swaggy C, please stand at the front of the room and give us your first decision. All right, so my first decision, obviously, I kind of have to save myself. Good decision. OK. You're saving group four. Rockstar, Brett, Rachel, and of course, you. Please give us your other decision. All right, so this decision is very hard. I thought about it a long time. Um, love to save Angela's group because of the competition we just had. Love Bailey, Tyler, and Winston, but I have to save the eight people I walked in the house with, which is group number three. That's us? Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Those house guests that are safe are Scotty, Haley, Casey, and Fessel. As for the rest of you, one of you will be the first house guest evicted this summer. Needless to say, there is a lot riding on your first head of household competition. Good night, house guests. Good night, Julie. This got real. What a way to kick off the 20th season of Big Brother.